we'll start with the philosophy of my van build here. The idea was to make an affordable hard top that you could stand up in. Where this here is made out of coroplast, which you can get at Home Depot. Folds down. You still get the good gas mileage with the minivan. It's very lightweight, very functional, and very durable. I used a solar panel for the top, but you could use just coroplast for the top and be even lighter and in some ways easier to build. The uh, coroplast I used also for the windows. They're, they have insulating value, they're light, and they are easy to cut and work with. Over nine years ago, I fell off the roof and broke my back, and I couldn't sleep in a bed comfortably. It was just too painful, and then I found out about um, hammocks for people with back problems. I was actually was reading camping forums on hammocking and these guys with older guys that are overweight with back problems were saying they never slept so good as they did in a hammock when they were camping way better than when they were at home sleeping in their expensive bed and so I started sleeping in a hammock then and I have been doing it ever since. The advantages of the hammock inside the van are is it only takes a minute and a half at the most to set up. At night when it's time to pack up my stove is still off. Having my nighttime tea. Throw that all in there. Set this container on top of the toilet seat. And I'll just grab the table. Down. Slide down. And that slides in next to the fridge. Now I'm ready to lay out my hammock. Just grab it. And it hooks on here. And there we go. I'm all ready for bed. Sit down. Swing my feet around. Press my pillow. And you swing. To lay in a hammock, you have to sit diagonally. So you put your head on one side, your feet on the other. And then, depending on how, what the level situation is, just scoot yourself up one way or the other until you're at the right height. Fan switch is right here, so if it's hot, as it cools down at night, I can just shut that off. So I got my table here for my blankets, here for all my little accessories. Light is right here, simple pull and it's on or off. And I can sleep on my back. Or sleep on my side and with the screens full screens here open the windows for ventilation with the fan get a good cross breeze and if I need to I can adjust this so that's circulating the air depending on how hot it is just how much I have it blowing on me or if it's extremely hot I could even have it blowing underneath me but it's definitely a nice way to sleep in the morning, I just reach up and grab these handlebars, pull myself up, and to put it away, pop that, and roll it up. If you have any extra blankets, they just go in there, and you're set to go. And then you just get ready for kitchen mode, grab your table, open it up. Pull this up. This actually has two settings. I blocked these holes so I could just pull it all the way to the top. There we go. Grab my kitchen stuff, put it back in there. Open it up. Grab my stove. 
tea kettle in my coffee stuff. And the advantage of a hammock with the minivan is it makes this four by some six foot area is multi-purpose and easily converted from one to the other. So I can have it as a bedroom, my kitchen, or office space. Time for a cup of coffee. Movie night. I just grab the table, slide it out in front of my chair. And I go to my favorite movie channel, wholemovietime.com, pick out a movie for the night, and sit back and enjoy. And also, this works good as my office. Check my edit. I'm going to have some company over. We're going to play a game of cards. Give them the prime seat. Yeah. And underneath here is a huge storage area. Let me just pull up the lever here. You can pull up. In fact, it can even go all the way up there. And the same on the other side, and it does pass through the place to store winter clothing and things like that. And I'll just to give you an idea how deep it is, that portable um, toilet there, I used to keep underneath here. And here you can see I have lots of room to walk around in. A lot of room up here for moving around. Lots of room over here for cooking. Stand up, exhaust fans up above. It's, uh, a little over five feet from end to end, three foot from side to side, corner to corner is more like six feet, so I can stretch out. And I'll show you how the emergency bathroom works. You see I got the typical luggable loo lid and a less than five gallon bucket. And if I need to use the bathroom, want a little privacy, I can just set this up here. Grab this other one. Wrap my lid, grab up my toilet paper and everything, and make everything handy. And then we're all set. Put the bag in there. I can sit right here in total privacy, even without the window coverings on because the windows are tinted. Turn on the exhaust fan, freshen up the air. What more do you need? For water, I can have probably 10 of these stacked around the back of this the refrigerator and behind the seat behind this seat there's all kinds of room as well and even underneath both these panels here so I can easily have enough water to last two weeks it's also plenty of room for tools my clothes even my uh, stand-up paddleboard easily stand up in the back pocket back there so it's got plenty of storage room for me now the back vents even though I have covers on them, they still have screens. I can leave the covers on and I just bend these flaps back so that the airflow can come in through both sides here. Now there's a nice breeze coming in through here, being drawn in through the fans up above. This whole thing is all a screen as well. And that's just tucked into the rubber gasket around there. Overall, I'd say I have less than $600 invested in this, and that's including the refrigerator, um, all the equipment, the battery I already had from my e-bike. So I just bought an inverter and charge controller, solar panel I got when I was down at the uh, van bill party I was helping out at, and that was only $45 for a 245-watt solar panel. And I had this carpeting here that was just a scrap left over from when I built my house. The ability to stand up is so liberating.